Learners, today's topic is electrochemistry. Subtopic is electrolysis of aqueous solutions. Now we begin by defining the term electrolysis. Electrolysis is defined as a process of decomposing an electrolyte by passing electric current through it. Now the term electrolyte means it's a substance which when melted or dissolved in water allows electric current to pass through it and is decomposed by it. Now, in this topic, we are saying electrolysis of aqueous solutions. Aqueous sol a solution is formed by mixing a solvent and a solute. In our case here, the solute can be an acid, a salt, or a kali. The solvent used here is water. In solution, water ionizes as shown below. Water H2O aqueous ionizes to give you hydroxide ions aqueous plus hydrogen ions aqueous any solution must always contain hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions so for example you say what are the ions present in zinc sulfate solution the ions present in zinc sulfate solution is is zinc ions, sulfate ions from the solute, hydrogen ions from the water, and hydroxide ions from the water. Now, the, the ions that migrate to the anode are hydroxide ions and sulfate ions. Now the anode is positively charged, so the negatively charged ions migrate to the positively charged electrode. Ions that migrate to the cathode, which is negatively charged, are zinc ions and hydrogen ions. Now at each of the electrodes, that is cathode and anode, only one ion is discharged. That is called preferential discharge. So the factors that affect preferential discharge are position of cation or anion in electrochemical series, two, concentration of the electrolyte, three, nature of electrode used. Now factor number one is position of cation or anion in the chemical series. Now for this factor to apply in electrolysis of aqueous solutions, the solution must be dilute then two, an inert electrode must be used, e.g. graphite, titanium, or platinum. The most, the most preferred electrode is graphite because it is, because it is inert and is cheap. Now, if you come to the cations, the arrangement of cations, it is only necessary for students to know that out of all the metal ions, with respect to hydrogen ions, only copper ions, silver ions, and mercury ions are below hydrogen in the chemical series. That is to say, if a solution contains copper ions, or silver, or mercury ions, then they are the ones which get preference to charge to hydrogen ions. Now, if a solution contains a metal ion above hydrogen, so the rest of the metal ions are usually above hydrogen. So any solution which contains a metal ion above hydrogen, that is zinc, mercury, that is zinc, that is zinc, aluminium, iron, lead, calcium, sodium, then hydrogen ions will be the one, hydrogen ions will be preferentially discharged to those metal ions. Now for the anions, any salt solution, any solution, be it acidic, alkali, or salt solution, should must contain hydroxide ions. So hydroxide ions is always the lowest in the electrochemical series. So it is the one that gets preventive discharge. Now for example, I look at electrolysis of zinc sulfate solution. Now 
the ions present in zinc sulfate solution are zinc ions sulfate ions hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions now that migrate to the anode are sulfate ions and hydroxide ions ions preference discharge at the anodes are hydroxide ions as shown in the equation below i say four hydroxide ions aqueous ro gives you two water liquid plus oxygen gas plus four electrons so that's the question at the anode the question at the anode now the reason why hydroxide ions are prevents the discharge to sulfate ions is because they have high tendency to lose electrons than sulfate ions now the ions that migrate to the cathodes are zinc ions and hydrogen ions ions that are discharged at the cathodes are hydrogen ions because hydrogen is below zinc ions in the electrochemical series the question for that discharge is because we are losing four electrons here at the anode the same electrons must be gained at the cathode now one hydrogen ion gains one electron so for me to gain four electrons i require four hydrogen ions aqueous plus four electrons to balance the equation i need two moles of hydrogen gas to balance the equation so i say the reason why hydrogen ions are preferential discharge to zinc ions is because they have high tendency to gain electrons than zinc ions points to note one more hydrogen gas is produced to oxygen gas that is two moles of hydrogen are produced against one mole of oxygen concentration of the electrolyte usually the reason is the amount of water in solution decreases because hydroxide ions and hydrogen ions are discharged electrodes to form oxygen gas and hydrogen gas respectively now the diagram below shows electrolysis of zinc sulfate now in this diagram here this longer line is positive this shorter line is negative now the positive is only connected to the anode so this electrode here becomes the anode the negative is always connected to the cathode so this electrode becomes the cathode now we said earlier on that at the anode we produce oxygen gas so this therefore becomes oxygen gas at the cathode we produce hydrogen gas so here becomes hydrogen gas now example number two is electrolysis of copper sulfate solution using graphite electrodes now the ions present in copper sulfate are copper ions sulfate ions hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions now ions that migrate to the anodes are sulfate ions and hydroxide ions ions discharged at the anodes are hydroxide ions as shown four hydroxide ions aqueous ro gives you two water liquid plus oxygen gas plus four electrons so that's the question at the anode now the reason why we discharge hydroxide downs i said earlier on is because hydroxide downs have high tendency to lose electrons than sulfate downs 
Now, ions that migrate to the cathodes are copper ions and hydrogen ions. Copper ions and hydrogen ions. Now, ions that discharge at the cathodes are, are copper ions. Now, because we are losing four electrons here, one copper ion gains two electrons. For me to gain four electrons, I require two copper ions. So I say two copper ions aqueous plus four electrons gives you two copper solids. So the reason why I discharge copper ions at the cathode is because they have high tendency to gain electrons than hydrogen ions. Now, points to note about the electrons of copper sulfate is, one, is the pH of solution. Now, the pH of solution is lowered, or we say pH of solution decreases. Now, the reason why the pH decreases is because we have seen that at the anode, we discharge hydroxide ions. At the cathode, we discharge copper ions. So, it means the remaining ions are hydrogen ions and sulfate ions. When the two combine, they form sulfuric six acids. Number two is color of electrolyte. At the start of the experiment, the electrolyte was blue in color due to the presence of copper ions. Now, because we discharge copper ions at the cathodes without the replacements, then it means at the end of the experiment, the color solution will be colorless. So it means observation made during the experiment is the blue color of solution fades and finally changes to colors. Observation at the end of experiment becomes color solution is formed. Reason, the copper ions are preferential discharged to hydrogen ions at the cathode without the replacement. Learners, that is the end of the lesson. The next lesson we're going to look at the other two properties of uh, that is concentration of the electrolyte and nature of the electrolyte used. Thank you.